Welcome back to another episode of Icky Fan Fishing. Hey, hey, yep. Sorry, it's been a while since we posted, uh, but we've been super busy moving into this new house that we have here. Uh, it does have a pool. Hey, you say hi. And we're inside of a treehouse. So today we're gonna do something a little different. We are going to make a rain barrel uh, for this gutter right here. And we're gonna place the rain barrel right on those rocks right here where Isaac's standing on. So we're gonna put a rain barrel here. It's gonna collect a lot of the, uh, the water that we get from the rainfall. And we're gonna use that water to you know, water our plants. We already do have a rain barrel, but we're gonna go ahead and get a second rain barrel. Here is our first rain barrel. Go ahead, Micah, go ahead and turn it on. Yo, yeah. The rain the other day caught a lot of water and it was overflowing. It rained so hard that it was overflowing. We have a pipe, pipe here. For... That's right. So when this thing overflows, uh, it exits out through this pipe and down the sidewalk. You can wash your hands. Go ahead. You want to wash your hands? Yeah. Again, you can't drink this water. I suggest not to drink this water. It's coming right off the roof. You don't want to drink all of the, and the sediments and dirt and Mama. bacteria. Oh, so yeah, this is our first rain barrel. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our second rain barrel today at the Virginia Beach Farmer's Market. This one we put together, you know, we, we bought this uh, tank from a barrel company, uh, bought a couple of the parts from Amazon, bought this from Amazon. Uh, about this um, from Amazon yeah. and the nozzle from Amazon. This is the filter, it so the mosquitoes yeah. the rocks. so the mosquitoes don't get in. Uh, yeah, and they, and they babies. Yep, you don't want them uh, producing because that's what mosquitoes do. They, the mosquitoes they produce it. babies in water. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and get our rain barrel. See you in a bit. This is a cool place. It looks like a sunflower. Why do they crawl in? Oh, that's where all the bees are. There's a Ooh. bee on your head. There's bees everywhere. Now it's on your arm. Ah! Don't <laughs> sting. Worms eat our trash. Watch out for Look. Look at the butterfly. Oh, oh, oh. Grasshopper. Hello, chicken. Hello, chicken. Ah! Chicken mama. Hello, Touch! Chicken mama. It's huge. Touch it. <laughs> well, here are the rain barrels. All right, we're back. It's a couple days later. We have our rain barrel that we picked up right here. And here is the diverter and parts kit. We have our drill, a level, tape measure, and our safety glasses and pencil. Let's see what this uh, diverter kit has. Open the package. Here's a, the tube where the water is going to pass through. Into the rain barrel, we have the spigot. It's made out of uh, plastic. This here is the diverter kit. Uh, you're supposed to stick this in the gutter and it's supposed to give you water, and then when it overflows, it'll go back uh, down the gutter. 
Tulsa. This is a drain plug. I don't. I think we're gonna bypass the, the drain plug. We're not gonna uh, drill another hole for that. So. And some washers, some rubber washers. And here is the rain barrel that we chose, 55 gallons. And this was a former coffee holder. So they stored coffee in this, this big old barrel. Uh, and what they did, uh, they were so nice to pre-drill holes around the barrel here. So when it rains, the rain will go down the holes and you know this prevents uh, mosquito larva. All right, we're gonna drill some holes on this thing now. As you can see, I've already drilled pilot holes five inches from the bottom of the barrel. That's where we're gonna put our spigot. We're looking at three and a half for the tube to go into the barrel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the hole saw out. We're gonna start with the, the spigot. This is the spigot uh, hole saw. This is the the tube hole saw, and then this is gonna be the hole saw for the gutter. So we have our drill bit set in our drill, and then I'm gonna ask Isaac to put on his safety glasses. You wanna use these? All right, kinda. Okay, let's go over here. And what we're gonna do is just you gotta keep it up like this straight as straight as you can okay go ahead all right good excellent there's one hole we're gonna clear up the the burrs so we can get a good seal. We need to put the rubber washer in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze this. You squeeze it like this, and then you put it in the hole. There you go. This is the drill bit to put on the hose. So Isaac's gonna go ahead and drill this one. And this one's at the top. So I want you to stand right here. Okay. You wanna drill it from the top. Ready? Excellent. Good job. Take off the burrs. Yep. Oh, it's hot. Just a little bit. Okay, I was gonna that one in. All right. You wanna see if it fits? It should fit. Yep. So this tube goes 31 inches, but we won't use all that. Let's go ahead and uh, put it on its pedestal. This is going to be our pedestal for the rain barrel. We put four you know, bricks, uh, level it already. I put sand underneath and dirt, so it should be level. Here's the real question, is it level? when we put the barrel out, so. Okay. So there's the barrel. Are we level? Yes. Yep, we are level. You can also put it right here. 
that's pretty level. The bubble is in between the lines. Daddy, how's the rain gonna get in if there's already a pipe here? So check this out. There's a diverter kit, right? We're gonna drill a hole in this gutter, right? And then we're gonna stick this in there, kind of like that, right? And then that diverter kit is gonna feed the water into the rain barrel. But when the rain barrel fills up, right? The water is gonna come back through this pipe and down the gutter. Yep, and then go back down. Let's go ahead and install that. Okay, let's clean that off. Okay. Right. Ooh, it is hot out here. It is humid. It's like 90 degrees in the shade in this Virginia humidity. All right, so now that we've got that done, we are going to drill a hole in the gutter. And I'm gonna do this one, it's a little more advanced. So we're gonna go ahead and drill uh, the hole. I've already marked it. Drill the hole. He went down the gutter. Like that. We're gonna put the set screws in so this rubber piece doesn't move around. And these set screws came with the kit. One. Wish you could smell this on camera because it smells like coffee. Right, is it? Can you smell it? No. What? <laughs> I don't smell any. You don't smell the coffee? I don't know what coffee smells like. I remember it smells I, like goodness. I remember when we went fishing, mm -hmm. um, I drank the 7 Eleven coffee and then I stayed up till midnight. Alright, so this is the final product. What do you guys think? out of an old coffee barrel. Kept it out of the landfill, because this was gonna go into the landfill if we didn't pick it up. And we are repurposing it as a rain barrel to save some water. They said there's gonna be some rain in the forecast tonight, uh, but you know, you never know. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment down below. We'll also leave a, a link in the description below on where you can get this rain barrel. Uh, it's at the Virginia Beach Farmer's Market. Uh, if you live around the Hampton Roads area of Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, uh, you can pick one of these up. Super easy to build, it took us like 10, 15 minutes. We are conserving water, uh, keeping this barrel out of the landfill, trying to keep our, our planet clean. Here we are the next morning. We had some thunderstorms pass through uh, last night and it was raining. I don't see any leaks. I don't see any leaks. Let's see if this thing works. Turn it on. There you go. Running water. That's cool. If you open the top. See that but it's already filled to the top so you want to take us out like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when we upload if you fan fishing out